Just a quick update on the 08 Ram. Just had the windshield guy here, windshield's in. I like this glass guy, he does really good work. There's just the right amount of gap. Over here is where the repair was. The gap's pretty good, a little tall there than it was before. We knocked it down some with the repair, but that's pretty close. It's pretty good. I don't know why on some of these Dodges, if you look over, let's see if I can catch that out of the light. The door and the roof there is the same. The gap from the door though is awfully tight. But when you go to the other side, you can see how the door sits a little higher than the whole entire roof panel. And I don't know why, some of them are just like that. I've had other companies too, not just a Dodge thing. And some aren't like that, some are good. But yeah, so basically that's repaired and windshield's in so we can tape that all off. We'll paint the roof section. This was the fender that was all banged in. It's pretty much uh, at the scuff and shoot stage. I still gotta finish the bottom of the door. Last sand and prime. Here we had a bunch of bubbling and whatnot. We cleaned that up so that door will be blended and painted. There was a few little marks I wasn't happy with. This is the quarter. And this thing is straight as an arrow. This is going to be really decent. There's a little bit, there was a little chip here. And there was some funny little lines in there, so I wanted to get rid of them. I'm getting a little bit over picky, but that's better to have it good. Very happy with the front fender. And then of course this side wasn't real, real bad. It was just uh, some repair work from before from another shop you could kind of see. So we basically went around, cleaned it all up. That's all, uh, we had to do a little bit of repair up here. But the rest of it's really good. And that's epoxy primer, so that'll be sanded down. Basically I'll paint the whole box. We're doing a brand new tailgate because the tailgate was Kind of beat up and then the bumper he had all these little stone chips running across the back so we basically just sanded them all out uh, i sanded it with a fairly rough paper and then we put like three heavy coats of epoxy on it so that can be sanded and painted it is a bumper nothing crazy the edge here of course same thing you can see a little bit of kind of like an orange peel it's just so thick but that stuff sands out super nice you can paint on it, it looks like glass and again, that's the stuff I'm using, and it is amazing. I love this stuff. They say that uh, the VP, whatever it is, is pretty good too. Um, and they say it's about the same. All I know is I can get this, and I can get a pretty okay deal on it up here in Ontario, Canada. And this stuff has been really good. After your four days, it does get really hard to sand. Um, you can paint right over it. You don't have to sand it at four days, but... It is what it is, but I, I'm really happy with this stuff. It seems to seal things. You can sand it. It works good. While we're at it, the 05 Rumble B. This is uh, some of the parts. I just went over them and cleaned them up. There's a few places where this we used a, uh, a different kind of primer. But I went ahead with the epoxy primer, and I basically shot around the handles and scuffed them because, you know, down the road, that's a place where they tend to trip or, or uh, chip off and the door bottoms you can see a little bit of a fog fade there I basically that's already been sanded so you can see a different color but I went across the bottoms and stuff you know just the weak points because that stuff seems really good around the headlights I got a chip here I got a fix but otherwise these panels are all uh, wash and shoot they're ready to go of course the hood I'm gonna come in and basically just airbrush this little bit of red, make it yellow, let that dry, and then I'll set the hood down, and I'll paint the hood, the doors, the two fenders, and then uh, you know we can put the Rumblebee back together. And of course I did use, from about here down, on the dog legs of the fenders, because they're notorious down there for doing things, so, I did, I did, I went ahead and I put a, uh, a couple real heavy coats of that primer on and then sanded it smooth. 
just to protect it, make it last longer. It's amazing, but since I started using that primer, I, I probably won't do much of anything else. I, I like that stuff. You know, unless you got a little spot here and it's not worth uh, mixing up a bunch of paint, you can always use a little bit of... Uh... Well, here, let me show you this stuff. So in Canada, we got this stuff here, Dominion Sure Seal. I don't know if you have it in the States, but I'm sure you just have the same thing from a different brand, like you guys have the Pore 15. Um, Dominion Sure Seal in Canada makes something called DOM 16. Uh, it's the same. It's just branded for Canada, I suppose. But this stuff, it's a self-etching. It's pretty decent. I've used quite a bit of it, and it seems to hold up and last. Things don't seem to peel. The nice thing with this is if you have a spot say you're sanding and you get a little spot where the metal shows through on a little edge you can grab this right before you paint it needs about 10 minutes i think i mean i usually have half an hour anyway and you just kind of just put enough on that it etches and uh you're golden it will not come apart yeah it'd be nice to get this one cleaned up and out of here too because it's a pretty pretty good looking truck anyway that's it for today cheers